We are in Windows 10, and I'm going to show you how to reset a lost or forgotten password so you can get back into Windows. So let's just say we're in Windows 10, and I've got a virtual machine here. So if you have a physical machine, it may look a little different. But the reason I'm doing virtual is because uh, I need to be able to show you what happens at boot up, which I wouldn't be able to do on a, a physical computer. So we want to make sure that we've got a, um, a DVD that we can boot off of, or in this case, an ISO file if it's a virtual machine. And we want to restart our computer and boot off of that DVD or ISO file. And when we get to the boot up screen, just go ahead and enter when it says boot from CD or DVD. You only have a couple of seconds there, so make sure you hit it at the right time. Let's go ahead and where it says uh, to win go to Windows Setup, click Next, and we'll choose Repair Your Computer. And now we'll choose the Troubleshoot option. And then we'll choose Advanced Options. And finally, we'll go to Command Prompt. So we've got this awesome Command Prompt. And now we're going to type in a command called disk part. Hit enter. And disk part is going to tell us which volume our Windows installation is on. So we'll type list space VOL. Hit enter. And we see three different volumes. Now our first volume is a CD-ROM, so we know Windows is not installed on that. Our second one is a 500 megabyte uh, volume, which is probably not going to have Windows on. It's too small. So then our third volume has got 39 gigabytes. So that's probably the one we want. And we know it's the D drive right there. Let's go ahead and type exit to get out of disk part. And we'll type the D colon. And let's go ahead and type CLS so we can get back to the top of the screen. Type in, I'm going to type a couple more commands before we boot back into Windows. So this will only take another minute. So we're going to type in CD space Windows, hit enter. CD space System32 and hit enter. Now we're going to rename a file that nor is normally used, an executable file, normally used to bring up the ease of access or the, uh, um, the electronic keyboard for people who may have disabilities. So we'll go ahead and type in rename or ren utilman.exe to utilman.789 or anything you want, 789, 123, OLD, whatever you want to do. Hit enter. Now we're going to do a copy, and we're going to copy cmd.exe, which is the command prompt, to utilman.exe. So this does seem kind of like a, a, a really weird way to get to where we want to be, but what we all we've really done is we've replaced utilman.exe that has the electronic keyboard to be a command prompt. That's all we did. So I'll show you what all this means in just a second. We'll go ahead and type exit. And now we'll go ahead and choose Exit and Continue to Windows 10. Now this time when we get to the part where it says uh, to boot from uh, CD or DVD, just don't press anything. Just go ahead and let it go right into Windows 10. We are now booted into Windows 10, and we're going to click on Other User, and we're going to click on the Ease of Access button in the lower right-hand corner. Now if you're doing this on Windows 7 or 8, this is in the left-hand corner, but Windows 10 has it in the right-hand corner. But this procedure does work for all of those different operating systems. So we'll go ahead and click on it, and it brings up a command prompt, which is what we wanted. That's why we renamed the Utilman. All right, so now what we need to do is to type in net user, and whatever our username is, in my case, my username is the letter X, and the password I want to use, so I'll put in password with a capital P and a zero, although you can put in any password that you seem fit, and hit enter. Now I'll go ahead and type exit, and now I'm going to type in the name of the computer, mine, uh, backslash X. Now, in your case, if your computer's not a member of a domain, and you would know it because it's mostly in an office, they'd be a member of a domain. Um, but uh, at a home, you're probably not going to have a, a Windows Active Directory domain. So you could just put in whatever your username is without putting in the computer name backslash. Then we're going to put in the password we just reset and hit enter. And look at that, we are now in Windows. We've reset our password, and now we can go ahead and continue working. So that's how you reset the password in Windows 10. We didn't have to buy any software or purchase anything. We just used the DVD 
that we got uh, from Microsoft. Now, if you don't have a DVD, you can go to google.com, type in uh, demonstration uh, download for Windows 10, and you'll go to Microsoft, download the demo version, burn it to a DVD, and then you can do this procedure as well.